Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Read, read the directions. I'll sit here then. Ignore the rocket for now. Here's the prototype. Breadboarding platform that I did in the last video. I thought it'd be cleaner than this. Sorry, it happens. I gotta clean it all up next, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in this video all of it working. What I've got is the camera working. Well, I'm not going into that one. The servo motor working and the uh, DC motor is, is now working. Look at the motor that I got. No, no, we're not gonna this put that motor on this right now. I'm talking I have about a giant escape too. Other things. No? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording a video. No? Okay. 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 And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over all little pieces of this. I didn't actually end up doing what I had anticipated doing. This took a lot longer than I had, had thought. doesn't support Pi Zero. I just checked on that. I don't know what I was thinking. So I didn't account for the camera. remember that I need a analog to I squared C converter so I'll be making my own okay this just came off the printer like I said I cut that in half that seems pretty good there um, except uh, when it printed Rebooted. Alright, shut that down. Let's start unplugging things. Let's unplug that. And unplug that. That's pretty much all I can unplug. New card. Today. 4.6 volts. The problem that I'm having with this boot cycle is it's underpowered. Didn't think about that. What I've got here is a 2.5 amp uh, power supply. That's what I'm running now. And what I just grabbed is a 15 amp. That should be a, enough. I wish I had a lower one because my power supply is 6 amp. But that should be f fine. What could go wrong? Yeah, it got a little crazy here. I put a bigger voltage regulator on it. I had this little pip squeak, so this is massive. Then I realized this is 5 volt and this is 3.3 volt. So then I added this extension board for doing step down and step up voltage regulation ah no got the gooey yay 
All right. So that solved the problem there. And mouse works. Okay, so I figured out why it was pulling so much power. The monitor was powered from the Pi. We have the servo hooked up to pin 10. We have the escape, that's this right here, hooked up to the motor on pin 11. I squared C uh, address of 8, two servo objects. There's just a few other uh, error codes and stuff. Again, setting up the serial port to printing, set up the wire transfer uh, protocol. We're going to receive um, that method. We attach the servo, again, just as we did before, and then we attach to the uh, escape, and we do an initialization of the escape. The loop doesn't need to be anything. And here is where it becomes interesting. So we're going to receive uh, a bunch of bytes, and we're going to unpack this. So I tried to be as efficient as possible, and I, I'm using Python here initially, just because it was easy to test. It's just a single argument uh, application right now. And you can see right here that we have on address 8 that there's a device there. So if we run Python 3 test pot py and we send a 1 because we want to adjust the servo motor and we do 180. So we get and 1600. There it goes. All right. So we're good. So here's where I'm at right now. I've got a Pi Zero with the, uh, what do they call this, a spy camera. It's just a perfect size. See, like, I could, you can put it in a brick. But I, I don't think the Pi Zero is going to work. Now, I'm going to continue down this path. Um, but let me explain. So I had to add an Arduino micro. I looked at other Arduinos. It's not to say there's not something else that will work better. Maybe a Teensy. There, there's a few options that we could swap in and out of there. The problem is, is anything that's fast enough needs to be 5 volts. And all the GPIO pins on a Pi are 3.3. So we need this extra line level converter. Now this power supply, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we're gonna need, so I have a smaller smaller voltage regulator for the power supply. Um, this, this is a five volt, it's way too big, way too big. Maybe I can find so that's a that's a to do item is to figure that out. The other one that I was going to use is a 2.5 amp, and I was having problems with that as you saw earlier. So yeah, there's a lot of things to figure out here, but all of these basic parts are working. Um, so we know that can move forward. However. I think I'm going to do a parallel track and I'm going to bring back out the Pi 4 with, see it's just so much bigger, not, not what I want. And this is a lot bigger, but I haven't tried, with this they have some PWM pins, I, I think I can get rid of the, the Arduino. If I can get rid of the Arduino, I can get rid of that and I can reduce that to 2.5 amp because, or do these require three? Anyway, I don't, I, I probably need a similar power supply, so I don't really save a whole lot there. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna, next time.